Wide will be signal. It's quicker delivery. Not a bad take down the leg side. Did it touch anything on the way through? That's the question. Chance of a run out. The take off the bells. I don't think you uh, Raj is too keen. Or did he have the ball in his hand? It's pretty quick, I'll say. Slow is a little bit. Throw is a little bit slow to come in. There's no direct hit. He's gone. He's gone. In fact, the ball was uh, not firmly in Yuvraj's hand, but he's got enough uh, over here to make sure that the ball touches the stumps. And this is a lucky break for India. He's well short of his ground. And number eight goes down. Uh, and this match uh, still could be anybody's game. 14 needed. South Africa eight down. An unnecessary run out. Stain has to depart. No run there. Good piece of fielding. Well, Stain just short of his ground. Reiner has been entrusted by the skipper. He's captained uh, the Chennai Super Kings a couple of times when uh, the skipper Mazdoni has been injured. So Hashing was bowling before, but with a two left. Turn two. Oh! Gee, what a buzz at this ground we've got now. Really is terrific, the atmosphere at the Wanderers. 28,000 people on the edge of their seats. Maybe they need a close catch, a slip or a silly point. Might just be having a few problems with a bit of dew, perhaps. I'm not sure. He keeps wiping his hands on his trousers, does uh, Reiner. That'll be the first sign. Well, that's disconcerting from the bowling point of view. If the ball slips as you're about to deliver it, you can't get a good grip on it. Makes it tough for the spinner. Gives the, uh, the batsman of the non-strikers in a heart attack as well. Floating that one up a fraction will just be the one that shot through for a single. So, Muna Patel has got overs left, Miro has got overs left, Zaya Khan has got overs left. But MS Dhoni deciding to go for the part-time spin. He's employed seven bowlers today. As MS. Slipping position now, so that's a good call. Oh, there's that uh, delayed action that uh, Reiner employs from time to time. Just a bit of a pause in the action. One from the over so far. He's got that away back on the square. Is it going to go the way to four? I think it is. Warren Walker has picked up a very, very important boundary. That certainly has released some pressure for South Africa. 184 for eight now. So five runs from that previous over from Reiner. That's what can happen, of course, when you're a part-time. You do a job for five deliveries. And then suddenly... One... Will there be another twist in the towel? Seven needed. Wayne Parnell has looked good. Zaya Khan has bowled well. Well, I guess it's pretty simple from an Indian perspective. They've got to get rid of Parnell this over. Got to get Satorbi out there. And in turn, what Parnell, I think, has got to do is make sure that he absorbs this pressure. He makes sure that he sees this over off from Zaha here. He is a real threat. He's only got one over left after this one. Inez Dhoni, I think, will have to get a seamer on at the other end as well. No more Harbhajan Singh. He's bowled his 10. Now Patel, 2 for 27 off his 7. He's done a tidy job. This is near as the one that's got a little bit of tap again. Every single run is being cheered. He wants to try and come back for the second. Decides against correctly. This is the telling over. South Africa get through this one. They've got a very good chance of winning it. Zaya Khan is a trump card for MS Dhoni. And the third man. Now cheer again from the capacity crowd of the Wanderers. High percentage of them on their feet, such as the nervous tension. Oh, 
got to get a second slip in as well. Wickets is what India need. Just the one catcher. First slip in position. There is a short mid wicket, but second slip. It's a good idea against the left hander. Another single. Just a boundary away now. No sweeper on the offside. So two balls left now. There we go. That's what she's saying. Just to hit that boundary. Bring up the victory. Make it 2-0. Two balls left in the 42nd over. Two balls left in Zahir Khan's ninth over. It's walk long strike. Concentration. That's a good idea. Warner Walker sometimes vulnerable against Jokic Bowling. Once one, straight to the third of the ten back by Barnell. A loud yelp from the non striker, 187. So, what a game we've had. What a month we've had. Inside there, it's on to the pad, I think. End result is a single. MS Dhoni doing the right thing, bringing the fielders in. Still fancy a second slip. They've done remarkably well if you think about it, India, to get back into this game. Really has surprised a lot of people. A wicket. There is another wicket. Munaf Patel has picked up a wicket. He's back into the attack. Goodness me, the Indians are celebrating the middle now. That is nine down. There's still three runs needed for victory. So Tsobi is the last man who's going to come out. That is a huge wicket. Moremoko looking to finish it in one hit, but he couldn't get over the top of it. The drive is his shot, but that wasn't full enough. So the breakthrough comes, the drama continues. Morno Morkel has gone for six, 188 for nine. It's a cliffhanger. Lon Wabo Tsutsobi has arrived, number 11, a genuine number 11. Four wickets, and he bowled so superbly. A long conversation between him and Wayne Parnell before Tsutsobi arrived at the batting end. Goodness me, what about this for pressure? Three to win, plenty of balls. A tie is a tie, of course. There's no super over. There's no replays. India will be desperate to pick up a quick wicket now. They want to wrap this up. We have got pressure galore. There is tension on the faces. One up at all. Just a tall me. On the front foot, middle of the bat. Big cheer of the Wanderers. But Robert Sotobi has had a great evening. He bowled superbly. He caught a terrific catch as well. And this is why he's there. Mordo Morkel trying to get the boundary, but not getting over the top of it. it wasn't full enough for the drive. So Munaf Patel strikes again. He's bowled superbly for India. Has he got one? Yes, he has. He's off the mark of the sea with the Torby. If there was a roof for the Wonders, it would have just come off. So just two to win now. Two deliveries left in the over. Wayne Parnell on strike. Wow, what a finish. We have seen some extraordinary cricket over the last month. Another magnificent game here at the Wanderers. Fight back from India after being totally outplayed in the first one in Durban. And there's tension in that change room, that's for sure. Brings Parnell back on strike. That's the important thing from Tsutsobi's point of view. Zaya Khan wants a crack at Tsutsobi. He's got one over left. One delivery left in this over. Can Wayne Parnell finish it now? Yeah, this is going to be uh, very interesting what uh, Emma's Dhoni does. The bottom line here is they cannot afford to give away a single. Scores will be leveled then. They need to make sure that Parnell doesn't score a run with this delivery. Last ball the over from Patel. Goodness me! Wow, this is extraordinary! That is it! It is sensational stuff here at the Wanderers. Parnell cannot believe what's happened. The celebrations have begun for India. I can imagine that all around the cricketing world, people are out of their chairs. This has been an extraordinary, an extraordinary game here at the Wanderers. Brilliant stuff from India. They win by one run. What a moment. Wayne Parnell is absolutely devastated. He thought he got that through, but he didn't. Went straight to gully and a terrific catch. Yuvraj Singh. South Africa devastated. They should have won.